Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on today's show, Top Gear is going to be coming back to our TV screens very, very soon. Now this announcement was a handful of weeks ago, or at least a couple of weeks ago, but albeit I was injured at that particular piece of time. So if you're anxious for the brand new season of Top Gear, including the dynamic trio that is... Mr. Chris Harris, Matt LeBlanc, and Rory Reed. Very excited to see what these boys have been up to over the past several months shooting the brand new season. Season 25 of Top Gear will fire off February 25th of 2018, Sunday night. That's only in a handful of days' time. In fact, only a couple of days' time. On BBC2 on British television, now, the trick is, if you live like me here stateside, you do have to wait a handful of days as it won't make its official debut till March 3rd, 2018. That's a Saturday night. Not real crazy about that particular time slot for this particular program. But, again, cannot wait to see what these boys have been going on about over the past several months. Tell you what, we had a real great season of the Grand Tour. I hope Top Gear can even come close to matching what that particular energy was for that show. So, cannot wait for the new Top Gear. I gotta wait an extra week compared to a lot of folks. Next up on the list, this is an interesting story from the Ford Motor Company. Actually, if you buy a brand new Ford GT, if you're one of the lucky new owners, this is an actual paint option for that machine. It's a fictional Ford color, Ford livery, to match up with the Ford GT race car that just raced a handful of days ago at the 24 Hours of Daytona and won its opening Savoy into the 24 Hours of Le Mans just a year or so ago. There is a trick. If you want this particular paint color, you have to work for the Ford Motor Company, which I do find kind of interesting because how many workers at Ford Motor Company can afford a brand new GT? This particular GT going ahead of Ford Performance, Raj Nair, one of my favorites inside of the Ford Motor Company and inside of the industry. Sadly, we got some sad news about Mr. Raj Nair that's going to be coming up later in the broadcast. Next up on the list, Ferrari showing off the brand new track day weapon ahead of its official debut at the Geneva Motor Show. A little sneak peek at the brand new Ferrari 488 Pista. I know Pista sounds kind of cruddy, but the trick is it does mean racetrack in Italian, so you kind of get what, for, what Ferrari was going after. This vehicle gets heavily bodily, body modified, including brand new front end aero work, a new front splitter, Rear arrow work's been done through a lot with a brand new rear diffuser along with a new rear wing and an S-duct, that big opening right there in the center of the hood that channels air up and over the top of the body to the places where you want it to go. This thing's a real track day weapon with a lot of tricks up its sleeve and a lot of lightweight material. In fact, this vehicle weighs just a touch more than the GT E race car that just raced a handful of days ago. In fact, a little under 50 pounds that raced over at the 24 Hours of Daytona. This vehicle weighs just 2,822 pounds, which in this modern day, get anything around 3,000 pounds or under, that is pretty doggone good going from this particular group. Power comes from a revised 3.9 liter twin turbocharged V8 making 710 horsepower and 568 pounds feet of torque. Zero to 60 comes in at just 2.9 seconds with a top speed of 211 miles an hour. Again, this vehicle debuts at Geneva Motor Show just a couple of weeks' time, so we'll definitely have some more info when it comes there. Next up on the list, well, Marinello showing off their latest wares. The Stuttgart cannot going to be left behind as Porsche debuted the brand new 2019 version of the GT3 RS, the most hardcore 911 there is to buy today. This vehicle is heavily revised in its own right with a lot of new body modifications, new aero work, even though it is hard to see, this vehicle does look quite a bit like last generation's GT3 RS. 
The vehicle does get a significant amount of downforce upgrades thanks to the new aero package. A lot of light weighting goes into this machine, the brand new carbon fiber front wings, fenders, along with the hood itself, along with a magnesium roof in this vehicle. Along with the carbon fiber seat, the half roll cage, the vehicle is lightweight indeed, weighing just 3,153 pounds. The vehicle comes with the same 4 liter, normally aspirated flat 6 that we've known and loved out of the 911 GT3s in the past. This one revving up to 9,000 RPMs and delivering 520 horsepower, 346 pounds feet of torque. Sadly, only shifted through a 7 speed PDK gearbox. If you're hoping a little clutch happy fun, it won't happen in this particular machine. 0 to 60 comes in at just 3 seconds flat with a top speed of 193 miles an hour. A couple of other tricks up its sleeve to make the good lap times. A brand new advanced active suspension management system is involved in this vehicle. Didn't quite say whether the rear steer was going to return on this vehicle or it may just be standard equipment by now. We'll definitely hear a whole lot more when this vehicle debuts again at the Geneva Motor Show in just a couple of weeks time. No pricing or availability have been released as of yet, but we'll definitely keep you in tune of what we hear. Last up on the list, again, we were talking about Raj Nair early in the program, but now here comes the sad part, because the day of the taping of this program, in fact, only a handful of hours ago for the taping of this program, it was made official by a letter from the Ford Motor Company saying that Raj Nair has stepped down from his position at the Ford Motor Company. Now, the trick is, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite executives inside of not only Ford, but inside of any of the major brands out there. This guy is a real deal car guy, and I'm really sad to see him go. Now, the official statement from the Ford Motor Company is apparently that Mr. Raj Nair acted in a way that was not kosher, I guess you could say, with Ford Motor Company practices. Basically, in the current climate, you can maybe kind of guess, even though nothing was said official about this, Mr. Nair did apologize for his actions, saying that he wishes the Ford Motor Company well in its future endeavors. I have to say, I'm really sorry to see Mr. Nair go. A real good car guy inside of the industry. Of course, maybe not as good as I was thinking. be interesting to see if he may land on his feet in another automobile manufacturer in the next several months. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs in the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.